I felt this wave of calmness like I knew I was safe. There's another superhero catastrophe and she's sitting there bragging about being saved by the budget Captain Marvel. Oh my god. <laughs> the budget Captain Thank Marvel. <laughs> Hello, hello, good people. Salaviathan here. We're back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up Miss Marvel. We're on episode two. And honestly, I did not expect to like this show as much as I did. Quick recap of the first episode. You know, we meet Kamala Khan, you know, head, head in the clouds teenager who basically idolizes Captain Marvel. She shares those interests with her friend Bruno. Bruno is more like a down to earth tech whiz kind of kid, but they're both complete social outcasts in this school. They want to kind of um, go to the very first Avengers Con, something that will go down in the history books. And um, she, they're really excited to go, but Kamala's parents are not down down with that you know they don't seem to like her lifestyle of the magical and the head in the clouds kind of kid and they wanted to be more grounded and down to earth but she ends up um, taking these uh, bangle things that her grandmother sent over to them and they end up giving her superpowers where she can basically do light projections and, and stuff like that there was hints that the grandmother had like powers before in the past or something and that she was the original owner of the bangles so she could have been a hero in the past I did want to note quickly that the quant that the bands are actually something called the quantum bands they're Cree technology so it does tie in together with Miss Marvel you know with their whole inhuman um, origin story and Captain Marvel with her ha being a Cree human hybrid and things like that so I'm honestly really really excited to see where this goes but we're gonna get started with that one don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and also consider checking out the patreon link for full on cut reactions of this show movies other tv shows animes honestly check it out if it's for you i appreciate all the support that comes on there but with that note we're going to get started with miss marvel episode two crushed let's go i'm excited for this episode i always love superhero origins origin episodes when they're first discovering their powers and they're first getting their costume ready all that stuff i, I live for that man comic book tv show any anything wise like that kind of stuff always gets me Ugh, look at her, man. Look at her. <laughs> She's feeling good right now, man. Everyone's like, look at her, man. What's up? What's up? I've been meaning to tell you for years. My name is pronounced Kamala. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Yo, this, this like, superpower thing gave her confidence. I am so sorry. No worries. Oh, a little bit of a love interest, too. Zoe's follower count like quadrupled this weekend. Oh my god, man. Freaking Zoe, like, got, uh, took so much advantage of Kamala saving her. I was so scared. <laughs> I was so scared. I felt this wave of calmness, like, I knew I was safe. There's another superhero catastrophe, and she's sitting there bragging about being saved by the budget Captain Marvel. Oh Thank my god. <laughs> the budget Captain Thank Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Who, who was it? Uh,. Nightlight. Yeah, okay. Nightlight. Okay, she needs to get the branding uh, on lock quick, yo. Which is why I'm gonna have a party on Friday. Hey, you're that new senior, right? Kamra. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm having a party on Friday. You should come. Where should we have that party? <laughs> she likes the Cameron guy. <laughs> oh, poor Bruno. Amazing. The nice little touch I like too is the fact that her her eyes light up as well. Okay, no super strength. All I got is this. So it looks like your power isn't coming from the bangle. It's coming from within you. Like the bangle will knock the superhuman part of you. Wait, what? Does this look like some kind of writing here? It's hard to read. Um, looks like Arabic or Urdu. So I wanted to make a quick point. So he just said that the power is coming unlocked, like the bangles unlock the power inside of her, right? So with that said, does that mean that she still could be an inhuman then? She's 
getting better with it. She's getting proficient. That's all that matters, man. It's, it's becoming second nature. <laughs> Love this. Are they here for Friday prayers or what are they here for? That they're late for in the mosque. Move over. This place. We got mold under the carpets, and the walls are literally crumbling. Together, we, can we can't just stick up a poster for every piece of plaster that falls. Sisters, no talking during the lecture, please. Sorry, Sheikh Abdullah. You know, it's just really hard to concentrate when we can barely see you. Sister Kamala, how glad I am that you've joined us today. I, I love I love that the, the Sheikh knows her personally, too. And another reminder, nominations are still open for the Monks Board election. Oh my God, As Max, always, you should. No. Rashid's got nothing on you, baby, okay? You're the change. The change is here and the change is her, everyone. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, maybe we'll run. Yeah. I'm really sorry about sneaking out. Kamala, I know that you are growing up, but I, I need you to stay safe. Kamala Khan. Oh my gosh, she's gonna ask you her to go to that party, that man. <laughs> she's no, literally no. not gonna let you go to an actual party, man. <laughs> man, it's gonna suck when her parents find out that she's running around as a superhero or something. They are not gonna be down with that, man. Nope. You want some? No, I'm... Is there alcohol in that? Nah, it's just orange juice. <laughs> Dude, why would you do that? What's the vodka? Are you serious, man? You don't do that shit to people, man. Yep, it would definitely be this guy. I 100% knew it was this guy. <laughs> uh, she's like, 100%, man, 100%. <laughs> This car is so cool. I love the color. Thank you. Black. Yeah, you can. Uh, <laughs> really? Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, give me a phone. Yo, this guy is smooth, yo. This guy is smooth. <laughs> yo. He just, he just goes for it, man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I love this girl's head, man. <laughs> I do like the vibes with Cameron. He doesn't seem like a dick completely. Like, he seems like a pretty cool dude. I guess, like, intense emotions can help out a little bit, too. Like, I feel like they might activate the powers. He's been acting kind of weird these past couple of days. You know you can tell me anything, right? Everything's just changing really fast, Max. I feel like you can't keep up. I know it's dumb, but... Are you kidding? Between the hijab and the girlies, my parents can barely make eye contact with me anymore. Why does she feel like she can't tell her friend Nakia this, this secret, you know, you know what I mean? Or why is she keeping the secret from... Oh, um, I got you something for your driving lesson with Kamran. <laughs> One. Very cute. <laughs> and these. All my dreams are coming true. You got it. What? The early immersion program at Caltech. You got it. You are spending the next semester at Caltech. Can I think about it? Okay. Bruno, have you ever seen a movie? Yes, I've seen a movie. You're the lead character. I'm Meryl Streep. And you gotta do it. 
But it's in just, California. just literally leaving him no choice, man. Bruno, go do it, man. Don't waste this opportunity over somebody who's probably not feeling the same, man. That's the only reason why he's hesitant right now. I can't really train today. What? Why? Jeez. Um, oh, oh, Bruno's, Bruno's just the whole mind just shattered. He's like, this is still happening? Shit. You're to drive, Bowser. I think I did pretty good, okay? My, I mean, my, um, my mom's just literally obsessed with him. Hey, hey, hey. I know what Ami means. <laughs> okay. And um, don't worry, I mean, mine's the same. She still has a huge crush on King of Senior. Ew. Oh, shoot. Hey? Why are we, um, hiding? My brother and his fiance. <clears throat> Hamir. Taisha. Kamala. Brother. Sister. She's hey, we're on. meeting his wife for He's the very out. first time. <laughs> awesome. Is this actually going to work? Uh, Uncle this Chubby lie is that he's, that he's a cousin? <laughs> See, that was actually just a bit I was doing. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of The Great British Bake Off. <laughs> I love that show. I just binged it, so I was just doing a bit. Oh, man, that was good. You got me. My brother's an idiot, man. I could not believe that worked. I could not believe that worked. Your family live in Karachi for a long time? No. My family has been in Karachi for generations. Mm. Yeah. Muniba's family moved to Karachi only after the partition. That's good. That's good. They're bringing in some real history here too in the show. They're not trying to hide it or cover this it up. Story about presenting the it. Us family from during the partition. You know, they had to get onto the last train. Now her mother, Muniba's mother, Sana, who was just a toddler then, she got separated from her parents on the train station. But here's the thing. Nobody knows how that little toddler Sana managed to get back on the train. Just, just before, before the train pulled out of the station. She followed a trail of stars. Right back to her father. Dude, the energy's pulsing because it's talking about the story and bringing in some history. Hello? Nani, hi. <laughs> Kamala, is that you, beta? Yeah, look, um, about the bangle. What about? Wait, which one? What? The bangle, it does some really... Weird things oh, and and that it's... bangle belonged to my mother Aisha, the one who disappeared during partition. My great it did, it Aisha. did. Yeah, I was a bit confused about the story before that they were telling, but I understand it now a little bit. So I'm sounding like the the gra grandmother Aisha was a hero and she passed on the bangles to her daughter. <laughs> Ami, mm -hmm. do you know what happened to our great grandma Aisha? That woman brought shame on our entire family. I had to move halfway around the world to forget it. But, like... Kamala. She brought shame to the family? What? But I thought Aisha was a hero. There's this possibility that she could have been using those bangles for evil. It was amazing. No, 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 we don't have time. <coughs> the entire mosque is here with nothing to do but eat and gossip. Gossip, yes. Kamala, you are going to start with the Mosque Bros, yes? Come on, the Mosque Bros never respect the halal gap. Bruno, your group should be relatively easy, it's the converts. Technically the reverts. I would love to secure your vote for the board. Oh, well, the thing is, Rashid is also running. And he's my best friend. Yeah, <laughs> Kamal is my best friend. Couldn't rob two young women of that future, would you, uncle? Yo, she is manipulating I mean, on, him. Oh, oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Vote for Nakia. He's robotic. How are we today, Miss uh, Zimmer? Wait, you're you're not the Zoe Zimmer. The only one I know. <laughs> what? You have got to be kidding me. I'm a big fan. You went to AvengerCon? Oh my gosh. You must have been mobbed by all your fans, no? No. You it, have a good time? It was so fun. Oh, this guy is playing her. <laughs> you and that masked woman look pretty identical. White girl, redhead. We don't look anything like. She looks nothing like oh, me. Oh, so you do know what she looks like. What else do you know? 
Middle Eastern, perhaps? South Asian? Search every temple, community center, and... and mosque. Kind of crazy that they're just jumping in and like doing a full sweep. Interesting. My family knew her. Many people knew her. And probably wished that they hadn't. My father called her a snake. She put a curse on everything she touched. Curse. Is that really how they talk about Aisha like that? Her great grandmother? She killed a man. <gasps> Dead. Happened during partition. This kid is crazy and stupid. This kid is so stupid. So stupid. Somebody help me! Okay, as I was saying, it does sound like they were making up rumors about her grandmother. Bro, she she or nightlight already stuck. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. How's she gonna save this kid? Ice cream pizza. Come on. Yeah, we can work with that. Just think a nice plate or bowl of ice cream pizza. Yo, that's that's gross, man. I gotta say, man, that's a very very like strong curtain rod. I think get off get off the platform man before it falls. <laughs> I've got you, okay? The grandmother, Aisha. <laughs> yo, yo! Impressive! Oh man, she didn't save him completely though, and I think that's what she's that's what she might think that I'm not cut out for this man. Yeah, yep, yep, there it is. Part of me had a feeling like that was gonna happen, but she's getting pretty good with that though, I'm not even gonna lie. People really die, people really get hurt. You might get hurt too. Yo, ain't ain't those those, those drones from um Spider-Man? Um, far from home? <laughs> Yo! That was cool, that was pretty cool. Yo, the Cameron guy's gonna help her? Kamala. I've been waiting a very long time to meet you. Who the heck is that, man? Wasn't that the- Okay, wasn't that the same lady in the vision that she just saw? Oh, I don't know. Oh, people. Man, <laughs> Miss Marvel episode 2. I am smiling. This show is really good. A re quick recap of that episode. It was more geared towards her kind of learning her powers. You know, her and Bruno started practicing up the powers and things like that. I really liked the the scenes with the mosque and 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 the and how they tackled, I guess, the the Muslim aspect of the whole show, right? Because it sounds like with the whole Pakistani and the Muslim aspect, they're they're doing really really well. Going forward, you know, we we met um, Cameron. I think I kept calling him Cameron, but it's Kamran. Her, the Kamala's love interest, which is, and I like it too. Like, she, he seems like a cool dude. I'm not even gonna hate. Like, he seems like a cool dude. We're getting into more of the history of um, her, her, the legacy. So we learned that that Aisha, the great grandmother, was the original owner of the Bongos, right? And Sana was the daughter, um, was was her, was the daughter or the or the grandmother who originally gave the Bengals to Kamala. So it sounds like the great grandmother was the one who was the hero, not the grand 
grandmother. Because the way that they're making it sound, they're making the gra I, the great grandmother Aisha sound like she was a harlot, like a heretic, like everybody hated her. Like they were like, some people said that, oh, she left her family for this. I think she did this. I think nobody knows the truth about her, which means it's propaganda that somebody was spreading. Seeing her save that kid was a good scene too. I thought she was getting a little bit overconfident with it, with the kid too. So I, I, I him falling down was a natural um, response to a lot of that and I loved it because it showed that Kamala started getting really stressed like I, I don't know if I can do this this is not as easy as I thought it was and naturally would be because being a superhero is not easy C Kamran coming in and kind of picking her up and then saying I like you to meet my mom and stuff like that great because now we're getting a little bit more into the lore but it sounds like Ka Kamran was um, kind of using Kamala the whole time which which sucks but We'll, we'll see more into the next episode. I uh, will leave it off here. I will see you guys around. Take care and have a great, great rest of your day. Bye.